pumps for half a mile. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. It's, it's a little after nine in the morning. Just left the, uh, the guest house there. And we're gonna walk along the Falls Road for a bit and see what we can see on St. Patrick's Day and what the crack is around the uh, town. <clears throat> there isn't a parade actually in West Belfast. Um, there's a few little events. I'll put the links up on the screen here so you can see what would be available. They're more like in shopping malls and certain pubs and areas where they have like Irish dancing, uh, some stuff for the kids, papes painting and stuff like that, all around 12 o'clock. So what I've decided to do was we'll walk around the Falls Road area again a bit, make our way towards the uh, city center. And at 1.30, the, um, the parade at the Belfast City Hall will commence. So we'll watch a bit of the parade, what's going on in Belfast, and I'll show you that. And then I've already booked my tickets just because the day it's in it, with the holidays and a lot of a lot of people traveling. I booked my uh, bus ticket from uh, the Europa Center, uh, bus center at uh, 3 o'clock to go into Bussaurus in Dublin. So that should get in around 5.45. That was about uh, 11 pounds. And then at 6.30 I have from Bussaurus to Wexford, my ticket booked, and that was, I think, 21 euros. So basically that's all done and dusted so I can enjoy the day, see what we have going on for the next six hours, roughly, around Belfast, and then we'll head off to uh, home. So I'll turn it off now until we see something interesting there for you. There you go, pumps for half a mile. Anyways, I just walked down the road. This is the, uh, the the pub uh, that's close to uh, the guest house he said to come to it's uh, just down the corner you gonna see a big church steeple in the background there coming up to a roundabout and then we're gonna see what we have around here I'm taking a totally different way from when I was walking. I figured if I go this way and then down, I should get to the Falls Road anyway. A different view. So I figure we'll do it that way. Walking along the Falls Road now. We're just opposite Whittle. Um, we're coming up to the shopping center that um, I had stopped originally at the first day. Just a little ground. I was speaking to your man at breakfast today and we were just talking about all sorts of things. One of the things that came to mind is so on uh, April 10th is the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement and he was saying a lot of things have changed. He says, Back 25 years ago, you weren't even able to have your tricolor um, uh, hanging in your front garden. If you did, you would have been arrested um, or fined. And, and also, nowadays, we're actually going to Belfast uh, City Centre and there's going to be a St. Patrick's Parade. This is something that you wouldn't have seen 25 years ago. So, there is a lot of more bustling around in Belfast. It's a very more econom economical place to come visit. Um, Dublin's really expensive. This is a big city. You get the big city uh, appeal of everything, but there is bargains to be had. Like I said, my guest house, you know, pain in that, but it was comfortable, warm. I enjoyed my night, and it only cost me 24 pounds. It's like 30 euros, less than 30 euros. You wouldn't find that in uh, Dublin. You know, if you want to watch my uh, Ben Nevis vlogs, I stayed in this uh, dreadful capsule hostel in Dublin City. 
and it was like 40 some odd euros for basically a coffin and that was just because it was a Monday or yeah Monday night if you would go on the weekends they charge like 75 euros for that and there was 12 coffins in one room and they had four floors and each floor had 18 rooms so you can do the math and it's horrible what they're getting away with but in Belfast you can come here and enjoy your time so here's like if I want to take the gliders here's what it is it costs 220 um, it's a fair uh, it's a fair ride into the city center so it's reasonable you know taxis are available too but they're a little bit more expensive and here's the Kennedy Center where I got off on the first day when I went searching for the uh, my guest house so it's a as there's the old Tim Hortons drive through now Tim Hortons I guess it's a little bit like Guinness doesn't really travel well because I had a Tim Hortons coffee with Emily back in uh, the 26th of December in the city center one and the coffee wasn't up to my standards uh, from what I remember back in Canada um, but you know if you want a donut and that they have the donuts and that they were fine but I uh, wasn't a big fan of the coffee maybe my taste buds have uh, changed in the last 15 years so that's possible so we're just gonna walk along the Falls Road see if I can see anything interesting and if not we'll make our way towards the city center and the parade kicks off at half one you can see in front of me there's a whole bunch of people starting to walk in towards the center of town as well dressed up in green walking for the St. Patty's Day festivities we'll just keep following them to see where they're headed so as I was walking along decided to ditch the jacket it's not raining right now so I put it in my backpack backpack starting to weigh a bit of weight but you know yesterday I was just the arms got all condensation inside so I'm warm enough as it is plus with the walking into town here I'm walking by St. Kevin's Primary School and the parish of St. John the Evangelist and we just keep walking ahead towards the city center on the Falls Road in the West Belfast local shops getting the theme you could buy some gear for Patty's Day Parade like I said this wouldn't have been available 25 years ago there's the park if you watch my Belfast uh, Falls Road vlog we went all through the park and the statue of the boxer and here's another memorial here's some more shops with some Decorations to go. Kick me to the Caribbean. Getting ready for the big day. Yeah. We're gonna keep walking towards the city center. We've been walking for, uh, I guess, about a half an hour now. We're getting closer to them. We passed the hospitals. Heading in towards uh, Davis. Uh, and the towers uh, stops on the bus. There's some more mural on the side of the wall there. And we'll keep going. Last time I was here, this gate was closed, so we can take a look at the Garden of Remembrance. Say it's opened up. Walk around. And 
and we'll walk around the garden itself. Start on the right. There's little benches. Here's the Falls Road map. And that's the Garden of Remembrance. This area is the Twin Spires. So you see the church in the back, cathedral I think, with the two spires. It's one of the stops. And this is also known for Northumberland Street. So it has some murals going up the way. Now if you've walked up this road um, about five minutes, you'll be on the Shank Hill side of the Falls Road. You see the murals that go up. If you watch my uh, Falls Road vlog, you'll have them all on there. So now you're in the border country of both sides. So now what we're gonna do, I'll just walk here to the next bus stop and then we'll make our way in towards the city center. I'm gonna go to the Europa bus station and see if I can drop my bag off. And if not, then I'll uh, carry it around for the day. Oh yeah. So yeah, so there's a few murals here. It's just the corner if they're Northumberland. And there's some people over there. So that was the Twin Spires stop, and then over here would be Divas. There's where the Divas flats used to be. They were all taken down. And we'll just head towards the city center now and see what's the cracks going on in the city center and to see if I can get rid of this bag because it weighs about let's say 10 12 kilos has all my stuff in it so I'd like to get rid of that at the bus station if I could pay for a place if it's open and if not it was carried around for the rest of the day and uh, your man has two strong legs so should be should be no problem for him but I want to make it as easy as I can Okay, let's just get going. So, just got off the bus. It's 170, back to the same place, around where it was yesterday. So you have the, uh, the coffee's corners, I call it, because you have Starbucks, you have Ground Espresso, Urban Fresh, and Costa Coffee. So now what I'm gonna do is try to find the bus station and see if I can put my uh, gear away for so I have to take the bus and then we'll walk around this, see what the crack is in, uh, in Belfast City on Patty's Day. There's Harold Balder's uh, Building Society. Those of you who don't understand it, haven't watched Harold Balder's vlogs and I suggest you do. Very good crack anyways. So I'd suggest you uh, look him up. He's back active. He was very inactive during the uh, start of the war. Spent a lot of time in Ukraine. Uh, helping out and in Poland um, but just recently he started back posting vlogs but very entertaining um, did uh, he did help me a lot getting involved in YouTube when I first started watching him so it's him I like Gabriel Traveler watch him a lot and uh, Dale Phillips he's another one that very entertaining and there's there's a few more I follow if you want to see who I look at just check my link um, on YouTube and you can see who I'm following uh, but uh, you know I, I 
I enjoy travel vlogs and it's like they, they do inspire me and they show me you know what is about the Leonardo hotels I think I stayed in there once it used to be a different name so it's rebranded um, forget what it used to be called but you see Europa is just up ahead on the right that's the uh, the most bomb building in the world and it's still standing um, and the train station's just in the back of that so we're gonna go in there see if we can uh, put away my bag because it is quite big I'll show you when we get to the station hopefully they do have a facility that I can you know pay a small fee for it and then move on from there as we're walking up towards the station here's the grand old grand opera house it's a fine building right beside the hotel corner from this other nice building beside the architect um, in Belfast city is quite unique and it's mixed of old and new obviously the new are are remnants of the troubles but uh, it's a nice big building for the opera house so I asked the, uh, the information at the Europa bus station um, they don't have facilities for baggage they said I could try the, the uh, visit Belfast Center or the bus tour center maybe but I don't know and they said they might have limited hours and that because of the holidays so I might just keep it on with me so you know I've had it for the first day and a half so may as well keep it for the rest it's only a few hours we're already uh, coming up to 11 o'clock uh, parade will be at 1 30 so to 2 30 and then I have to make my way towards the bus station to get on the bus there's another Cafe Nero and we're right across the street from the Crown Bar and Robinson's the Crown Bar the famous I think Jerry Adams at one point served behind the bar there when he was a young fella um, but yeah so let's just walk around the city and see what the crack is on Patty's Day here's the one approach to the uh, city hall we're gonna walk around the whole all the sides of it right now we're gonna go to take a chance at that uh, visit Belfast see if they keep the book uh, the luggage if I can keep it for a couple of hours for me it'd be handy and then we'll walk around the rest of it I can see it just through the park on the other side and we'll walk around City Hall so turn it off till we get to the visit Belfast so result um, in four euro four pounds it cost me to leave it in for the day I have to, they're closed by four, but it's no big deal because my bus is at three, so I'll be collecting it um, probably collected around 2.15, give me some time. So here, if you're ever in Belfast, it's the Visit, uh, visit Belfast Center. So they have accommodation for storing bag, luggage. So it's handy. Now I just have my old little bag on handbag side to walk around. I have my ID and a few other bits and chargers and stuff. And here we are, we're walking across into Belfast, um, the uh, city hall. Take a look. Here's the front side of it. Here's where the, uh, the parade will be forming. You can see them in the background. We're getting ready for it. And here's some more. big giant missing his head still but you know like I said that kicks off from here at uh, half one so still got a bit of time here so now we'll just walk around and we'll wait probably go get something to eat maybe a good old Cafe Nero get my coffee in that and relax there's the old side of the city hall, you see. It's big grounds. There you go. And this is where it's kicking off. So Cafe Nero's across the road, so that's where I'll be heading now.
Okay, you can see there now he's got his head on. There's a Irish wolfhound in the background. It's starting to come together. Still have an hour or so before the uh, the parade starts. Uh, or two hours actually. So we're gonna just walk around, kill some time. Till it gets closer, we'll head back towards that. So remember which way to get back to. So we go up this way to go back towards the bus station. Remember that. And we'll just walk around, see what the crack is. Uh, people in Belfast, whole contingent outside Carol's souvenirs. selling stuff for the kids in the parade. Maybe a man and a cross in the air side singing. See a lot of people wearing some green, former green and flags and stuff. It's nice to see in Belfast City. You know, much has changed. As we walk right by the ranger store. And yeah, everyone has a little bit of green on them and getting ready for the parade. We'll just walk around and see if we see anything interesting. Already had any coffee, so I'm good for the coffee for now, for the day. I had two cups at the uh, the guest house, and then I had one just now. So. You can imagine as we get closer to the uh, half one, there's an interesting uh, pair of pets. I think people are gathering towards the uh, the town hall, the city hall, so I might go up that way again. We'll see. I'll go up back towards back towards the city hall. You can see it in the in the background right there. That was Nathan Graham, if you want to follow him on Facebook.
from the Lord Jesus Christ reads out and prove me in and put me up in the narrow path which leads to heaven. And that's the hope that I have today. There's hope on the streets of Belfast today. It's not found in me, the preacher. It's not found in anyone of us. It's found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know the Savior today? Do you know the name that's above all names of our Lord Jesus Christ? Well, we want to tell you today the biggest lie that comes from the pit of hell is that we have time to bring the Lord. Time to short time to this life of all of us here and then it's gone. Do you know Jesus Christ today? So we're about an hour, a little over an hour away from the parade, so the town is definitely a lot more busier, especially around the square coming up. See a lot more people. That vendor that I showed it was, was selling, you know, Irish and Patty Day, like flags and wigs and hats and stuff. He's flying it, so packed out he is. Here's your man handing out little shamrock flags. So, it's getting closer to the time. Um, it's starting to get a little chilly though. I might go pick up my bag a little bit before the parade starts. This way when it's it's going, I could just Hello, take there. off afterwards and then head off towards the bus station and wait for my uh, bus. And back there's people getting on the city tours. See the double decker with the open top. I wouldn't want to be in the open top there. It's pretty cold. But you have a good view of the city. And then, like I said, a lot of people are coming into town. Starts. It's getting pretty busy now. It'll be uh, pretty packed for when it starts, but they'll be passing right by me. It's five minutes left. See it all started up. Now we're going up there. So it's getting ready. It'll be less than five minutes and we'll get started. And we're off.
crowds that have assembled around the uh, city hall. Now I'm going to make my way towards the bus station. I have about an hour before my bus, so. But there's some crowd that showed up. You know, considering, like I said before, 25 years ago, this would not have been possible. So it's nice to see, and everyone was in a good mood, and you know, the weather uh, held out, so there was no rain, and it wasn't that cold. Um, oh, all in all, very good. And all it was all original music. There wasn't any music that was, you know, recorded and that. It was all live music. So helps with the uh, copyright strikes. Thank you for the uh, organizers for that. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and the like and hit the bell button. Thank you. Now, make my way back to sunny southeast.